Hey everybody, it's Sean. This is an all-electric scooter called the EcoRico M5 Air. Let's get some air. <laughs> So the M5 Air can get you about 8 to 10 to 15 miles of range. It really all depends on the road you're on, how fast you're going, things like that. Uh, it has a top speed of 20 miles an hour, but you have to really go in a straight line to hit that. Uh, usually it hovers around 14 or 15 miles an hour, and that's plenty fast for something like this. Uh, it has regenerative braking, so it'll feed energy back into the batteries when you get on that brake. It also has a really easy throttle to use. It doesn't jump you off the line. And in fact, you actually have to give it a little kick uh, to get going before you can even get the throttle engaged. It also has a suspension on it, which makes it a little easier to ride when the road is a little bit bumpy. It's not light, it's 35 pounds, so it's kind of tough to carry around, but it collapses from the handlebars down to the stem and you can get it all folded up or even back open in about five seconds once you get used to it. Now all of this is a sign of just how practical electric rideables are becoming. It's something that we really saw here at CES this year. Uh, you're not necessarily going to want to take an electric skateboard with only six miles of range or ride a Swagtron to work every day. But something like the EcoRico makes that seem like a possibility. And that's really cool. But for that to happen, a couple things have to change. One is price. This thing's about $1,200, which is where a lot of other electric rideables are priced at right now, and that's just still a little too expensive. Another one is weight. Most of these are still too heavy when you hop off and break them down and have to carry them around. And then the last is battery life and charging time. This gets you a decent range, but it still takes you about three to four hours to charge back up once you've drained that battery. But even with all that in mind, I had a lot of fun using the EcoRico to get from our hotel to our work trailer all week, and it's something I could see myself using in my daily life. We're not quite there yet, but after this year's CES, it feels like we're closer than ever. For more electric rideables and everything else that we covered this week, head to theverge.com and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.